of these with me, but I forgot it. Okay, so um, this is actually the part that I started shifting the talk toward is using humans as targets. Um, recently there have been a lot of advances in using less than lethal type, type of attacks. From sonic to light, uh, we have the, of course the taser, everybody knows what that does, but um, yeah, they were called less than lethal until they started killing people. Uh, the heat ray is actually, this is an actual picture, I pulled it off of Wikipedia or something like that, they're using it as an active denial system like in military controlled areas. It makes it, it basically uses a very, very high frequency microwave beam to make it feel like your skin is on fire without doing any damage. So uh, <laughs> it's supposed to only penetrate a couple layers of skin, it's really uncomfortable, it makes you feel like you're getting a sunburn really fast and they kind of sweep it through the crowd to get people to go away. It will blow through your clothes like nothing so you just feel like your whole like exposed surface of your body is on fire. Um, don't think that's really fun, glad I'm not on the other side. Uh, there's actually a thing that the DOD had built for them. It's uh, basically flashing lights. Everybody here I'm sure has been to a concert at one point in their life and had, you know, the strobes going and how, how disorienting whenever you have you know, alternating strobes going off. They basically turn that into a weapon. They use really, really high brightness things and it's about the size of a flashlight and they're actually selling these to police and things like that also as a mode on their flashlight where it blinks in a, in a, semi, a pseudo random pattern to throw off your equilibrium because you're basically blinded and you got this strobe going and it just makes people sick and makes you really lose the will to fight. Um, it was recreated by a lady named Lady Ada. She's uh, Ada Fruit Industries. She made one that's about that big around uh, just because she saw the video and she's good at that kind of stuff. Then we get to the LRAD. Now these are currently being used. Um, this is what I made a little mini demo of because I didn't want to deafen everybody in the front row. Uh, if there's a good response, I'll probably build a bigger one just to show that you can build it for under $30,000. But uh, these have been used in New York. This is actually a picture of the New York Police Department's LRAD. Um, they were used against some protesters in the Republican Convention. They've been used against the Somali pirates. They're being used against people in Iraq and uh, things like that. Think of being in the front row of the loudest rock concert you've ever had, but it's only you because it's a beam directed weapon. And it's really high frequency. So I have one of those, like I said, a little mini version of that to demo and uh, I'll show you what it sort of feels like. This is the schematic for what I'm using. Anybody that's in here has electronics experience? Built stuff before? Everybody knows what the 555 timer is, right? Okay. 555 timer is what I'm using to make a square wave. There are a hundred different ways of doing this. You could use microcontrollers, you could use just a transistor, you could use anything. I picked the 555 timer because it's what I'm use, I, I like and I mess with it a lot. These are the actual uh, ratings that I'm using to generate the, the frequencies that I'm fixing to like let you all hear. If anybody has sensitive ears to high frequencies, I'll turn it off quickly so that, well, my roommate doesn't kill me. Uh, these are all the parts. I'm going to put these up on the web, on the DEF CON website. They didn't get done in time for the CD, so they'll all be up there if you want to build them. I kind of had to muck with the actual ratings to get it to work the way I wanted it to do. Uh, building tips. Use a proto board. Don't solder first. It will drive you insane because you'll be chasing down something retarded. Um, but like basically this is to build. Uh, I used uh, a DC filtering cap because it makes the speaker not burn out as quickly. Uh, I used a pretty big one. To give you an idea how big this circuit is, that's it. That's it. It's one 55 timer, couple resistors, couple capacitors, a breadboard, two 9 volt batteries, and some speakers I found at Fry's that have a flat frequency response up to 30,000 hertz. So that's why I picked those. Okay, so now you have one thing you can really annoy the neighborhood dogs or whatever you want to do. Um, I think I blew through this talk a lot faster than I expected it to. So, uh, yeah. So I need to slow down a little bit. Um, here, I'm gonna let y'all hear what this talks like or what it sounds like. Can anybody hear that? So, so it starts at about this frequency, and it goes uh. So if you had this sound kind of sound at, jet, at like airplane decibels is what the LRAD does. 
how long would you hang around? <laughs> I mean, if something's doing like this at, you know, the, the, at the, the volume that they're talking about, 160 decibels is like the loudest rock concert or an airplane. So, uh, that's what that is. Um, I've been messing with this stuff for a while, so I really enjoy, yeah, see, thanks to everybody, and yeah, make up questions. So, um, I'm going to be going to the room, uh, the, the QA room soon because it, it turns out that they really rather you do that instead. Um, this is my first time talking so I went through this way too fast. <laughs> so, thanks.